Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video is we're going to do a makeup tutorial that uh, it was a look that I made last week. If you didn't see my last video yet, here was my picture. This there is was my face. I will put the picture beside me, and then yeah, it's like a simple, natural kind of look that like uh, that's like a Barbie type pink all pink and yeah so before we get started please don't forget to subscribe on my youtube channel click the bell beside it to get more updates so without further ado let's get into this video <laughs> so for uh, first is we're going to have foundation since I don't have a primer but can afford it so magdirito lang sa ta sa foundation this is my foundation the essence stay all day 16 hours long lasting makeup on the shade 20 soft nude finish so I don't think na nagmatch pa ang color sa foundation sa ako akin ng ito man good ko so, kebs na. So, I just shook it and then I will put a little on my hands just to warm the foundation. So, disclaimer, I am not a makeup guru. I don't really know anything that much about makeup, but all I know is makeup is art. Long. So, I break out the whole skin because I have my period as of until now. So, yeah, the break out hong now day. Pagibulagan day. So don't forget to include your neck para parehas ang color sa naong sa kwan. So, let's start. So, this is a damp sponge. So now that we're done, let's proceed to my eyebrows. This is in no particular order, huh? So it's up to you if you can start on your eyeshadow or anything. Okay, so this is the Christian Dior Addict. It's a lip maximizer. Makes your lips more look plumpier. <laughs> so it's it's kind of minty. Look. The packaging is so nice. Yes. Just gonna put it on my lips. Wait for it to do the work. So while waiting, let's get into the eyebrows. So I'm just going to take this angled brush. Yes. And this ugly ass looking <laughs> eyeshadow pomade that I got so long ago. And it usually takes time when I put my own eyebrows. Because eyebrows looks like shit so just gonna brush it the water you can do it again okay so let's start so I like to start on 
the ends. And then just connect it with the top. And then towards the middle. make that motion upwards to clean the you know excess using this other this was the one that I used for my eyebrows and this is we're going to use the other side for the concealer I'm using the Maybelline the shade tan light so just to highlight it Make sure you blend it well. If you can't blend it properly, you can use your hands. will sometimes do the thing, you know. It's like a magic trick. So now, let's proceed to this, to the top. Carefully. Erase the excess. So eyebrows are naturally uneven. They're not perfect together, they don't look the same because that's just it. So next is the under eyes. I'm just going to use this brush just since I still have the concealer left I'm just going to put it here conceal all the eye bags repeat the process
cover your imperfection. Make the T zone. This is the T zone. Now that we're done, let us now go to, let's set the concealer first, let's wait for it to sink in. So I'm using my favorite Nichido Final Powder in the shade Ivory Glow. So let's leave it up at first and let's proceed to the eyeshadow. Yay! <laughs> so I'm going to use first. Is oh my god, this is so ugly. This NARS on the shade Laguna. So, this is the color, it's very uh, color brown, warm tone. So going to take a little and just put it all around my eyelids. Bobby Brown Shimmer Blush. It's a blush and it has shimmer but it looks good in my eyes so I will use it. So this is what it looks like. It's a Bobby Brown. I'm just gonna take this other brush and this is very pigmented so but very powdery but that's okay. And we're just going to combine the two since it will make it look more good.
I have this um, multi shade. It's a brick uh, full of highlighters. And this is from Bobbi Brown. This is called Shimmer Brick Compact in the shade Nectar. So this is what it looks like. Very perfect, I know, right? And since our shade is pink, all of this has like a pink undertone to it. And this one, this is has a pink color with silver shimmer. And this other one is also a dark pink color with a gold shine shimmer into it this is more like a peachy color with a silver shimmer and this the lightest shade is the white which has a pinkish shimmer and the last one is more likely the same with the last one but this has a gold shimmer to it that's perfect right so I'm just going to use going to use this eyeshadow brush and just take what should I take um, should just take this this one I know just this one the peachy color this and just put it on my eyelid I don't think it, I don't think you can see it properly but this this like shiny color since this is a highlighter this is very pigmented next is inner corner the tear duct just going to take this lightest shade just put it on my inner corner just to highlight it Next is we are going to take this this brandless makeup palette. I'm just going to take this dark green color and let's just play with makeup because makeup is art, you know. All about the blending. I'm going to take this and take a little bit. I notice myself just like talking my mouth, just to, you know, extend like that, make it more wide. But it's very effective, you know.
god, this looks like my mom's tattoo. <laughs> so now that we're done, let's. Am I done? Wait, let's just put this current first. So this is the Maybelline Hyper Curl Volume Express Waterproof Mascara. My, I don't have a very long and thick eyelashes, so I really need to use these kinds. But the sad part is, whenever I use a curler, it doesn't really curl. It doesn't do its thing. It makes me mad. It makes me sad because I have this crazy ass. Wipe the excess. So we're about to finish this look. Putting makeup on here in the Philippines is just so hard. It's so hot in here. Now let's proceed to the blush. I'm just gonna take this Bobbi Brown again. Very lightly dab on it and then let's move on to the bronzer. Very powdery. This is from Ever Belena. I forgot the shade, I forgot the name, but I transferred it here. It's a, it was a powder, and then I made it compact. So, yeah, I'm just gonna put a little something in here just to make my face look smaller because it's just so. Big face. So, don't forget to put something in here to make your jaw more prominent. Yes. The other side. And you have to be very careful. Next is we'll put up. Uh, let me take this back again and the highlighter and just put something on my brow bone. Put the lighter shade again. And then put it here. Yes. Next is the highlighter. Just going to take this one and just I like to combine this whitest shade and the coral one and just and then put 
Highlighter, blush, and the contour of the bronzer. Yes. She go in the waterfall. Here. You see that? It's so blinding. Okay, so I'm just going to remove this and I'll be back. I don't think you can notice the difference, but I feel like it's, it's more plump. Yes. So before we put the lipstick, I'm just going to take this light shade again. Put it on my cupid's bow. There. Highlight it. And then the final round is I'm going to use this Vice Cosmetics liquid lipstick on the shade girly So now that we're done, I'm just going to go finish this look and I'll be back. So that is it. I hope you guys like this makeup tutorial. Don't forget to like it, hit the subscribe button, click the bell beside it to see more updates. And I hope you guys liked it. And yeah, so this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. And yeah, I'll see you on my next video. Bye!